Welcome back to the old stanky build part two. Today we're gonna Yeah, see right like that. Exactly. Stay tuned. So if you remember from episode one, we uh took the front end off and cleaned everything up a little bit. And got a better look at this uh well uh cobbled together mess of a lift i don't know about that and upon further investigation eventually i'm going to change these shocks out but for now i want to get this lift sorted out so i'm going to pull this off and i'm going to pull that off and pull this off i got it up on a jack so i can pull it all off because i think this needs to be mounted back down on its original plate and this plate needs to go on top yes that makes a whole lot more sense and thanks to polar bear ed's garage who also pointed the same thing out and uh yeah if you need any help with small engine stuff or what have you polar bear ed is a wealth of knowledge so let's rip all this crap apart and see if we can uh defunctify it before i put new shocks on it One side pulled apart and switched around now I think that the axle might be bent right about in there a little bit but I think this once I get it tightened up can be pretty straight definitely be a heck of a lot better than that so well, let me put the other one that way and let's tighten it all up and see if we got uh, anything better than what it was before well, I got them both switched around it's not quite perfect still, but it's a lot less sketch than uh, it was before. I think we need to take it for a drive and see if it's any better. I know I want to replace the shocks, and eventually I want to bend these pads on either side so they're nice and straight down there, just straight up there. But for now, it's tight. Let's go give her a rip. the old front end here mocking up some lights in it and just looking at it to see where we got to start so you got all these little pinstripes here i gotta rip all that off and a whole bunch of gouges and stuff here gonna be quite a bit of sand in some priming and then some sanding again and somebody already tried sanding it went down to the fiberglass got a mess there something was glued on right here so gonna be a lot of prep work to get this thing ready for even primer and I still got to take out these old lights and these old indicators because uh, I don't think we need them where we're going. <laughs> Giggity. All right, well, I guess I'll start pulling this crap apart and see what we got. Here's a fun one. So right here, this little bolt. Oh, she's all stuck in there. Ain't wanting to come out. So... Try jamming something in there and grabbing a hold of that and stopping it from turning and it ain't it ain't doing nothing. So let me see if we can uh, let's do this the nice and easy way. Let's just uh, 
be real gentle, make sure that we don't hurt anything. Let's just uh, put this here like this. That's a little bit of that right there. Yeah, that's, that's just right like that. See? That's all you gotta do. You just gently, carefully take this and move it over here. Yeah, see? Right like that. That's exactly how you get it. So that's, if you're dealing with something like that, that's how you do it. I've been standing on this thing for about an hour or so and I knocked a lot of the stuff off it. It's not going to be perfect. It'll be a, a nice 50 foot paint job. If you're standing 50 foot away, it'll look nice. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some primer and see where my real bad spots are. Uh, if you don't have one, get one of these little handles. They work great for uh, just helping you hold a nice steady spray. And uh, yeah, it seems to, it seems to work better when just uh, using a spray can to paint something. So let's get into this and throw some primer at it. All stanky. <laughs> Let's see how good a sanding job I did. It don't look too bad. I mean, it's got a little bit of schmuckus where these things bolt in, but that's kind of what it's going to be. And I'm going to have to bolt the that thing back in. So, other than that, I mean, it's not it's not horrible. Good enough for the YouTubers I watch. I think we can uh, keep knocking some turd off old Stanky here. Maybe we should uh, go get some color and see what we can do. Hmm, let's go take a look. Four more coats later, a little dry time. I think it's time for us to start applying a little bit of color. Let's take a look at what we're making here. I'm not gonna show you, we're just gonna start painting. Okay, two coats later, waiting for it to dry to do my third coat, but we are going with a purple, and I'm not doing the rest of the top because I'm actually going to tape this off and do this flat black. And right in the front here, there was a couple of runs, so I'm going to sand these the rest of the way out. And then go ahead and repaint, repaint that. I eventually will maybe be cutting this out, so I'm not too crazy concerned with how this looks right now. But I'm going to get some uh, flat black and do this. But the sides came out pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's a 50 foot paint job anyway. So it is going to be plum crazy purple and black. If you guys have not figured that out. All right, so here's where we're at. I got to do a couple more coats on the, on the top there, but, uh, you can see that the front's got a little mess right in that right in that area I gotta fix. But uh it's gonna be pretty cool. It's coming out pretty good. I gotta cover it up because this Arizona sun will just burn this thing to death. But I like how that line came out. Hey, like I said, it's gonna be a 50 footer. You can see right now it's you can see the lines. So I'm gonna have to go over that uh, once the sun goes down. Get it cleaned up and then we'll uh Slap that baby on the turd. That's it. Couldn't take it no more. Had to put a performance air cleaner on here. This big whatever that thing was just wasn't working out for me. Yeah, baby. Oh uh, yeah. Now we're sucking some clean air. Don't worry about the dirt. Don't worry about none of that. But there's some clean air. That's five horse right there, guys. Five horse. That's gonna wrap up part two of the uh, stank, the old stank build. And, uh, well, we're moving along. We're making progress. Hopefully, I can get the back painted and start getting some other stuff. I did order new shocks and suspension that will be coming in this week. So, look forward to that coming next week. As I do these, you're seeing them. I'm not holding back. So, this is uh, real-time updates. But I appreciate you guys coming in and hitting that like button. And, pff, ugh, had a fly up my nose. That ain't cool. If you like these videos, hit that button and hit the subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.